Scott Hansen, shout out. All the losses became wins, and all the wins that. became losses. We catch our breath. Let's focus in on the Chiefs. They had a tough game yesterday against the Carolina team. They should absolutely have handled. Here was Patrick Mahomes after the win. You want to have some blowouts. You want to have, be a little calmer in the fourth quarter. Um, but I've always said it's, it can be a good thing as you get to the playoffs and later in the season, um, just knowing that you've been in those moments before um, and knowing how to, how to kind of attack it but play by play, not making it too big of a moment. Um, but, no, I mean, I'm, I would say this more than anybody, I would, I would love to win a game, not by the very last play. <laughs> so, so, listen, I want to take everybody back. Sunday NFL countdown yesterday. Rex, I asked you the question. Are the Chiefs going to blow out Carolina coming off their only loss of the season? They were a big favorite. Are they going to blow them out? You said to me, Greeny, if they don't, it's a huge red flag. So what do we say a now? Absolutely. Greeny, I'm going to show you why. Okay. All right. Cindy, can you roll uh, a, a 58, please? Oh, let's take a look he's at this. Calling one for right graphics. Here. <laughs> I'm calling for graphics on a 58. And here's the look right here. These are the teams right here. Best records in the NFL this season. Right. Look at the point differential. There's the Chiefs at plus 52. Yeah. Are you kidding so me? So what does that like, say to you? What do, what should how should we interpret the numbers we're looking at the screen that they don't blow anybody out? What does it mean? That they're not what their record says they are. I'm just telling you, you right it. now. I Here's can't. some things right now. Well, let me just tell you. Let, let's just throw some facts at you. Please. All right. They're 29. Well, I don't know. They're 29th in explosives in the league. 29th. All right. They are 23rd in turnover differential. Last time I checked, that it usually is is a good sign on, yeah. on that. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah. And they're 22nd in sack margin. All these things. Uh, usually means something. And the other thing it means is this. You're 10 and 1. Why? Because right. you've got the greatest uh, quarterback on the, on the planet. Right. One reason. All right. There's no explosiveness on there. They have one team, one guy that has any speed on offense. All right. And that's a track guy. So you can't count on Xavier him. Xavier Worthy. All right. Xavier Worthy. Their offensive line is uh, uh, atrocious yeah. at tackle. All right. They're really good in the inside. But they're atrocious. If they don't run the football, I'm telling you what's going to happen. It's going to be like like the what the, the, the 2022 Vikings. Well, let's Remember? put that one. I've got another one for yeah, you. All right. Ask Cindy for A60. Cindy, A60, please. All right. A These are the two oh. teams you're talking about. Oh. Last year, the Eagles were 10 and 1. Yes. They, they had were. won eight one score games. They lost their first playoff game. The year before that. The Vikings were 9-2 and two through 11 games. They had won eight one-score games. Mm. They lost their first playoff game. Are you telling me the Chiefs are going to get bounced in the first round or early in the playoffs? 100% they will unless no. they get Pacheco back and run yeah, the and football. That, and it's going to it, happen. It's going to happen. I just got to come in here because we're, we're talking about players and coaches and an overall organization that just knows how to win. Okay? We're – Point differential, I'm not on. I don't care about point differential. I, pick, I care about win differential. You're looking at a football team that knows how to win football games. When you go into a game versus the Kansas City Chiefs, sure, you don't fear them. Every, I mean, even when the Raiders for the Black Friday game, I'm sure they have confidence that they can beat the Kansas City Chiefs. But you get in these close games with Can the Kansas City Chiefs, and there's four minutes left, and there's three minutes left in the fourth quarter, and you know who's over there, that's when you get scared. Because you know they can find a way better than anyone else to win the football game. This is, this is an example. This is when the Carolina Panthers probably thought, this is close, it's in the fourth quarter, we're done. This isn't going to happen because I know Patrick Mahomes is over there and something like this is going to happen. They are going to be the one or two seed in the playoffs more than likely. Oh, yeah, I don't see them falling apart, okay? In the playoffs in the last 10 years, over half the games have been decided by one score or less. That's what it's going to be in the playoffs. I'm telling you, that's what it's going to be. Now, let me say this. Is there a fatal flaw to this team? The tackles. Hell I do yeah. agree with you there. They're one strip sack away from the season being over. But until then, until I see it, this team in close games, as long as they play them, they're going to come out. Let me get our tackle in here. Go. Bro, you know I was sitting here thinking, one thing about this Kansas City, we, we can relate to this, okay? I always say when, when, you're, when you're a champ and you're playing teams after you, you know, win a, win a Super Bowl, every game is what? It's the other team's Super Bowl. Right. Every game. Yeah. 
Like, we know how hard it was, like, when you went, when you, when you have the amount of success that the Kansas City Chiefs have had over these years, it is so difficult from week to week playing these games. I know we talk about, you know, I know we talk about the uh, scoring margin, but these teams are playing their best. I don't give a damn if it's the Carolina Panthers and the Carolina Panthers have won two games. Guess what? They're, that is their Super Bowl. So the fact that the Kansas City Chiefs find ways to win games every single game, you don't luck in the 10-1. and one. You don't. You don't luck in the 10-1. and one. That is a team that just knows how to win. In fact, one of you said in the meeting this morning, I forget who it was, that sometimes when you're blowing everybody out, now you get into the playoffs and you're Listen, in a close game. You don't know how to handle it. 07, 07, we blew everybody out mostly, and we lost to the Giants in the Super Bowl. I mean, it's, it's, it's just because the way, the way you win. I mean, you get t tested, and sometimes you don't think you should be in that game. And then it's like, man, it's close. It shouldn't be here, and there's a different mentality. I mean, this is... I mean, 07 is different from 03, 04 in terms of mentalities. I mean, you blow people out. I also know the close games in terms of winning championships. But still, this Kansas City Chiefs, back-to-back, -back, winning close games, it is something that's a skill to have. That was, by the way, th I'm up against the yeah. clock, but that was Teddy's subtle way of pointing out how many different Super Bowl teams he was on so he can, like, separate <laughs> from some of them. Well, seven, we, we lost killed one. Everybody. Oh, three and oh, four. Those were the close ones. <laughs> he does this all the time. <laughs> okay, I, mean, I got to take a break. Rex, rest <laughs> you your voice. With me? We got a lot more me? to do. 